Today is a special day that Pharaoh is Are Pharaoh troubling you over the years? And you have lived your life in sorrow, struggling, in stiff opposition almost everything struggle. And What the one can achieve is to hinder you from what God wants you to be, but they shall not succeed. Anyone within this vicinity, whether inside you, I've been following you hiding anywhere, or is that where you are now? That split will leave your body now. <laughs> Father, I pray that you show them who you are. I pray for instant deliverance from above. One by one. Holy Ghost, begin with somebody. That Pharaoh must die. That Pharaoh must die. Lord, give them a sign. Begin to kill that Pharaoh in their body now. Give them a sign. And bring them out. One by one. As you slam them, bring them out. As you kill them, bring them out. As you keep any spirit, any being, any power, anything working against their progress, against their future, against their career, against their family, against their conception, against their childbearing, against their husband or wife, against their sources, key that thing and bring them out. Kivia Kataya Mazuvika Huka Skindeliko Peruski Teni Compresco Vienna One by one, key them, bring them out, key them, key the serpent, key the sweet husband, key the ancestral power, key the marine spirit, key the python, key, key, key the witchcraft. Hukata, Hukata, Kataya Mazuvi Kahuka, Rakataya Mazuviana, Key the Queen, Queen of Coast, Queen of Unknown Kingdom, Key, Sikataya Mazuvia, Key the Spirit Wife, Key the Ancestral Power, Key the Spirit of Backwardness, Key the Spirit of Poverty. Key the spirit of affliction. Key. With drawn sword. Run sword. With drawn sword. Key that spirit of dead. Key that spirit. Come out. Catch fire. Enter fire. Key that wish grass spirit. Key that we shall catch fire. Come out. In 
any coven where they sat against you last night I'm talking about somebody all of them all those demons that made meeting against you they must die judgment 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 whatever they have concluded it must happen upon their head how long will you suffer suffer hatred suffer neglect suffer torment from people oh lord avenge that young man who kataya mazuvi kahuria judgment 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 no matter the spirit that entered you and is tormenting you to destruction I command destruction upon that spirit spirit of waywardness spirit of leading spirit of the world unclean spirit catch fire holy ghost fire All of you that have been kept in prison, the power that monitored that prison, the spirit, the demons that monitoring you, say you will never make progress in life. In the name of Jesus, I command them to be slain. That prison, I break the yoke. I command the prison to be open. In the name of Jesus, I release you out. Whatever determination against your future, against your life, against your career, arrow go back to the center. evil plan go back to the sender holy ghost fire 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 all the powers that came to this place that attack you followed you say come and be free let me see now I command judgment upon them. Let them be arrested. Let them be killed in Jesus' name. Something great is taking place somewhere. Yes, that spirit must be judged. Not tomorrow. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. Wherever is hiding, waiting for you to come out. I order spirit that spirit to write them, come and face the judgment and catch fire, catch fire. Everything you have done in the life for that person, in the name of Jesus, I destroy it. I destroy it. I destroy it. I destroy it. Fire. you must be free who said you will not be free where is that power that said come and be free let me see instantly now let that power be slain let that spirit be slain let that kingdom be destroyed catch fire 
Holy Ghost Fire. Deliverance is still going on somewhere, even outside here now. Somewhere outside Nigeria. Deliverance is going on. I'm, so, I'm still waiting. Great deliverance. Yes, I lose you, young man. Loose. I command power trouble to die. Right over there in Germany. Die. Right over the United States, I come on, fire that power die. Line in that Canada, come on, that power die. Holy Ghost, fire. in South Africa, I come on, that power die. United Kingdom, I come on, that power die. Holy Ghost, fire. in the name of Jesus, I come on, that coronavirus die. Huka Tayama Zufika Huka 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 Rusian Jenny Compre Lord I receive power to kill the killer I kill the killer in Jesus name Zufika Zufi Marus in Jenia Today Today Something great is taking place All over the world all over the nation. Every power troubling the nation will be troubled. Power troubling, troubling all this principality, all the spirit, all the demon, all the imported demon. I command them to die. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Oh Lord, I order the 10 billion archangels move. Begin to kill, begin to destroy, deal with powers, powers, deal with them. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I send no hope for the Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can fight with my God? I send nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Power belongs to God. 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 Power. Oh, power belongs to God, 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 power. Power belongs to God, power belongs to God, power belongs to our God, power belongs to 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 God. Power belongs to my God. Power belongs to God. Oh, power belongs to God. Power. Oh, power belongs to God. Power. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to my God. Power belongs to God. Power. Amen. Father, I stand here today by the authority in the name of Jesus, by the authority of heaven, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, I stand here today for the whole world that in glory I bind the devil. 
I bind the demons. I bind the falling angels worldwide. I chain them with fathers of iron. I bind the python spirits. I bind the marine spirits. I bind on the power of darkness. I chain them worldwide. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. Father, I stand here today and I stop the evil all over the world. Oh Lord, I stop the coronavirus. I bind the spirit. I bind the power. I paralyze the spirit. I bind the power. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. And I bind every known unknown demon that itching to destroy humanity. I bind you. I bind you. Apart. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, by your authority, I set the people free. I set the world free from this affliction, from this evil. In Jesus' name. Every nation, every kingdom where that spirit is going on, I cancel it for. I cancel coronavirus. I cancel diseases. I cancel death. I cancel crises. I cancel the evil. I cancel all the evil going on. In Jesus' name. And for these ones I have privilege to be here and watching us now. Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I set them free. And any spirit troubling them, I order you to all you demons, all you evil spirits. I order you out of their body, enter the bottomless pit in Jesus' name. I command you to be slain and be bound. Be key forever in Jesus' name. My daddy, the hour has come. Glorify your name. Glorify your son, Jesus. Glorify your people. Daddy, glorify your son, that your son will glorify you. Lord, bless everyone watching me, hearing me. I declare freedom and blessings and miracles and favors upon their life in Jesus' name. I decree all over the world, I decree freedom from the evil disease, from the killers, from all the destruction. From all the fallen angels, I set you free. I set the whole world free in Jesus' name. I cancel every program of the enemy against this nation. Father, I decree freedom and peace in Jesus' name. Say amen three times. And it is over. It is over. I claim victory for my people worldwide in Jesus' name. You are free. Holy Ghost, as I speak this hour, let the angels go on rampage, killing every power, every spirit, every demon, every, every principality standing in the way all over the world. Let the there will be 10 billion of angels being to kill, being to destroy, being to set a place worldwide in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Let's sit it. With Jesus in our midst. Nothing shall be impossible with Jesus in our midst. Nothing shall be possible with our God in our midst. Nothing shall be possible with our God in our midst. Nothing shall be impossible. 
do it for me do it for me do it for me all the glory will be your own father fall in heaven do it for us do it for us do it for us all the glory will be your own father fall in heaven Remember me, remember us, remember me, my Lord Jesus, remember me, Father, Father in heaven, remember me, O oh Lord, that should be your prayer, Father, Father in heaven, remember us. Yeah, I remember you. Praise the Lord. I want to let you know you have to celebrate your victory. Do you hear me? I say you have to celebrate your victory. Everybody. Everybody. It is done. Do you believe you have the victory already? Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory. Hallelujah. Jesus. And gave us victory. Victory, victory. Hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, only Lord. A victory is certain. Turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 5. Exodus chapter 5. I read. From verse 1, Exodus chapter 5, from verse 1. And it reads, And after what Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thou says the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go that they may hold the feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord? And I should obey his voice to let Israel go. I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews had met with us. Let us go. We pray the three days' journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with sword. And the king of Egypt says unto, unto them, Wherefore do ye, wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto your bodies. Chapter 6, verse 1. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shall thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand, shall he let them go. And with a strong hand, shall he drive them out of his land. And then look at chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. I read from verse 5. Chapter 14. Reading from verse 5. And it was to the king of Egypt and the people fled and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servant was turned against the people and they said why have we done this that we 
have let Israel go from serving us. And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots and all chariots of Egypt and captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a, and a high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them. And all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them a camping by the sea, beside Pharaoh, before Bezephon, Bezephon, verse 10. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, and they said unto Moses, Because there were no grave in Egypt hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore hast thou dealt us with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not, the, is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. For it is better, it is, it has been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. Take note of that. In Ezekiel chapter 30, verse 19, let's see. Ezekiel 30, verse 19. Look at your Bible. Ezekiel chapter 30, verse 19. And I read. Verse 19, Thus will I is a good judgment in Egypt, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Exodus 14 again. Look at verse 13 where we start. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Look at your Bible. And it reads, chapter 14. And verse 13. And it reads, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which we show to you today. For the Egyptians you have seen today, you shall see them no more again forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Take note, the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. From these chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you the team that Pharaoh must die. Are you hearing me? That Pharaoh will rising up against you and after you and itching to stop you, to kill you, to destroy you, to take you to bondage, that Pharaoh must die. Whether they like it or not, they must die. Are you hearing me? So get ready. There may be many Pharaoh or Pharaoh-like Pharaoh problem, Pharaoh-like problem, take note, that have followed you all these years and I refuse to leave or allow you to make progress in life take note that if you allow you to have rest and you are going to places many many places for that matter and you have fasted and you have prayed and in fact, you have done everything humanly possible 
I even contacted people that are expert in prayers and in fasting and nine vigils and in prophecy and nothing is happening. I don't know the places you have gone. Some have consulted the evil spirit and demons. I don't know the places you have gone. And nothing seems to be happening. Sometimes you have take note. You have temporary relief. And the problem will surface again. And now you are worried. And you are even crying and almost disappointed or giving up. There is no point for that. Are you hearing me? Maybe you are wishing to go back to the world even as a believer. I want to let you know the Israelites tried that, but it did not work for them. Don't do that. Do you hear me? You are trying to go back to the world. There's no deliverer there. There's no freedom. There is no any remedy in the world. Are you hearing me? Do take notes. All I want to let you know today, no matter the situation that is going on in your life, don't worry at all, at all. So long you are here, I congratulate you. Are you hearing me? That Pharaoh must die. Whether the devil, the demon like it or not, that Pharaoh must die. May I remind you, this is the final bus stop. Whether you believe it or not, this is what? For that your problem, for that your Pharaoh, for that affliction. Somebody was giving us testimony here. I don't know whether he had a testimony since she was among the cheap book girls. Am I right? And when that eating took place, prayer was made when they brought it here. And five days, she and 22 others were released. I don't know whether he had a testimony. And then, after that testimony, now she developed um, cancer of the anus. And it cannot sit down, it cannot stand up, it cannot walk. And all the way from Brunei State, they brought her here on Sunday. And they, they came and said, Pastor, come and see that the condition, there's no way we can bring her near to you. And when we got to the vehicle where they lay her down, she could not look up. Her condition was so terrible that you that is attending to her will be worried. She couldn't look up. She couldn't turn around. And when prayer was made for her, I said, Lady, can you look up? It was difficult for her to look up. It, I mean, not to turn around, not to sit down, not to... Not to but for her to look up and look at my face, I began to ask, can you please tell her, look at me. Look up. Is he hearing me? Look up. And then, we said, we'll cancel that cancer. I said, say to her, say amen. It was difficult for her to say amen. I came and I said, say amen. I told the brother, tell her to say amen. And at the end, I entered with a motto, and went up. Today, the rest is the testimonies. She's heat, she's standing, she's sitting, she's eating. Remember the operation, the plan is to take her enos, put it in somewhere else, so from there she can be able to pass pieces. And who will it? Who will be sure that this lady will have survived? This is the final bus stop. Amen. And they told 
They told me somebody, oh, there were, there were too many testimonies. Told me this person, one person was missing. That was the day before yesterday. And prayer was made. Lo and behold, that person was found in a mysterious way. And the night before this one, they told me somebody was hijacked at somewhere in the east. Somewhere from Anambra State, he must um, um, near which side. And prayer was made. The way they hijacked the person was a mystery. It was going to, some, they hijacked the person, took the person away and disappeared. And prayer was made. But they say since that day they hijacked the person, nobody has heard from him. And prayer was made night before this one. And yesterday they said it had been released. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hijacked at Inewi, found in Inelugu in the camp police list. After that prayer, I just want to prove to you, you are in the final bus stop. And it will happen. You will see it. Are you hearing me? Now, there are a lot of things that, oh my God. In fact, I would like to go forward. I want to hear testimony from you. He see you that honor this invitation. Oh my God. Your problem is over. Whether you believe me or not is immaterial. God will settle your case today. And the case of our nation. And the case of people in the world today. Because rapture has not taken place. We are still here. Therefore, as I speak today, I'm talking in, listen to me, in recognition of the whatever going on in the world must cease today. For anything to anything to continue, except the rapture is about to take place. Outside the rapture, all this thing will cease. But if the rapture is about to take place, it will wake people to repent and then for all of us to go. That's why those things can continue. But outside it, this thing will stop today. If you believe it, say amen. Not only that it will stop, it has stopped. Say amen to that. That woman says, and the uncle of whoever was standing against her conception, and we say, if he doesn't give chance so that this woman can have her way three days, then she will give chance forever. And the woman testified today, not only that she has a child, she has four children now, and that three days did not pass by, and the person refused to give chance, and give chance for how long? Your enemy will give chance. As I'm talking to you now, Many, many angels are working on my behalf. And on the behalf of each and every one of you. And the, what I have requested is 10 billion archangels. Hold on. One angel can do the work. But I know why I have to make requests of 10 billion. So that everywhere will be covered. Whether in the air, in the second heaven, in the sea, beneath the sea. War is going on now, everywhere. Because this war must be fulfilled. That Pharaoh must die. Are you getting ready? People may be making a mockery of you and asking you, Where is your God? Because of that Pharaoh in your life, today is the end of that Pharaoh. 
that Egyptian you see today, you shall see them no more again forever. The Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. All our Pharaoh like problem, that is Pharaohic problem, all of them must die and give you way for you in Jesus' name. And listening to me, we shall go forward to fulfill our vision and mandate. We shall all get our promises and possession, we shall possess them in Jesus' name. Do you believe it's possible that Pharaoh must? In this message, I'm going to consider the following some headings. One, God's plan and the ignorant Israelites. Two, why they must die, those Pharaoh. And the examples. Let's go to point number one. Point number one, God's plan and the ignorant Israelites. God has a wonderful plan for his people and against his enemies, enemies of his people, enemies of God. God has a wonderful plan. And you know that his ways are not the ways of man. Are you hearing me? The way you are thinking or expecting or looking at is not the way God is going to operate. He operates in a mysterious way because it is not, it is not a man. Are you hearing me? So he has a wonderful plan against his enemy and plan for his people. He has no record of abandoned project. Whenever he begins a thing, he will finish it. Because he has all the resources, all the material, everything. God has them to work. Praise the Lord. Everything is a raw material in the hand of God. Do you believe it? I say how many things? Everything. He has no record of abandoned projects. In First Samuel chapter 3, let's see. First Samuel chapter 3 verse 12. And I read. First Samuel chapter 3 verse 12. Look at your Bible. Chapter 3 and verse 12. In that day, I will perform against Eli all the things I've spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. When I begin, I will finish it. When I begin, I will also make an end. In Romans chapter 9, verse 28. Romans, please open your Bible. Chapter 9, verse 28. And it reads, For he will finish the work and cut it short on righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. He will do what? He will finish the work. Nobody has ever fought or challenged God and lives. Pharaoh, his armies, and magicians put up a great fight against God and against his people, the Israelites of old, and could not prevail. But the question is this, shall they live for challenging God? You need to answer that question. Shall the, is, shall the Pharaoh and his, and his servants, his army, shall they live for challenging God? Well, I'm sure you Exodus chapter 5, and I'll show you verse 1 and 2. Where Moses and Aaron went to meet with God. Meet, and, and went to meet also. After the encounter with God, they went to meet Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, I don't know you are God. Neither will I let them go. And I'll show you in Exodus chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. Where God himself said, with a strong hand. Eh? I will use a strong hand. By a strong hand, Pharaoh will let Israel do what? Go. Now, that is it. He said he will not let them go. God said with a strong hand, he will let them go. Which means, I will deal with him. Praise the Lord. I want to pay attention. 
they must die because if they live, all those that are challenging God, if they live, eh, they shall become another God. People will watch him because they say this man challenged God and is alive. God could not kill him. God could not, you know, do anything to him. If that person, after challenging God, and he goes to make mark, he will, he will overthrow the faith of many people, and people begin to worship that person. Therefore, that Pharaoh, that Pharaoh problem, that refused to recognize God, that could they refuse to submit to God in your life, that Pharaoh must do what? Die. I don't know what I've been troubling you about. The, I don't know who have been assigned to attack you, attack the people of God, to find the people of God. That Pharaoh must do what? Take note. Mark my word. Praise the Lord. I said, if they are allowed to live, they will become another God. The servant of Nebuchadnezzar died. Are you hearing me? For the same offense, they stood against Meshach, Shidrach, and Abednego. And they tied them and threw them into the fire. What happened to them? The fire that was raised, um, you know, the fire was kindled that to keep Meshach, Shidrach, and Abednego, keep the men that carried them into the fire. I don't know whether you, you knew about that. Fire killed them. Who suppose? Who were, you know, who carried this up, lifted them up, threw them into the fire? Fire left those people and killed them. I want you to still understand. Remember that Haman met a gallo for somebody, for Mordecai. What happened to him? The same gallo he met for Mordecai was the same gallo that was used to do what? To hang him. He see you. I don't know who is planning for you after this message today. That person will decide either to submit to God or to go. Do you hear me? Because we can't worship two gods. Do you hear what I'm saying? So, I am assuring you today, whoever that is standing on your way, do you know that Herod was a man who was used to stand in the way of Jesus and also another one rose up and was used also to persecute the church but do you know what happened to the one that stood in the way of Jesus when Jesus was born let me show you what happened in Matthew chapter 1 no, please let's read chapter 2 Matthew chapter 2 I want us to read Matthew chapter 2 from verse 19 and it reads but when Herod was dead behold an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt saying arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel for they are dead which saw the young child's life what happened to them they how many Herod his servants and all that conspire to stand in the way of Jesus the Bible said they are what for they are dead. He see you today. You will live. You will fulfill your years. What God has determined for you shall be done. Any herald that said, Come and pass, let me see. Any herald that made life unbearable to you, any Pharaoh, he must give you a chance. Do you hear me? You didn't find them trouble. They're just blocking your way. So you, our desire is that they should repent and be saved. We don't have pleasure, neither do we take pleasure in the death of any sinner. But if that Pharaoh, that Herod said, 
you are the problem and it will continue to pursue you well that pharaoh I don't know whether I should be talking too much today. Is it not better I talk small, small? He <laughs> see you. <laughs> that Pharaoh must die. <laughs> Do you believe it? Yes. So they that are after Jesus, they are what? Yes. They that are after you, after choosing, after the people of God, they are already what? Dead. Do you know that Jezebel was against Elijah? And Elijah has already prophesied that dog will eat the body of who? Jezebel. He see you. Let me even ask you a question. What happened to Jezebel? Dog ate he, her body because it was thrown down and the body broke into pieces and the dog lick the blood, ate up everything that Jezebel did the world. Answer me now. Ahab was a stubborn man and he was used against the, you know, against the people of God and he was so full of evil. And you know the story, Ahab died. Many others died for challenging God. After Pharaoh and his servants fought God and his people and could not prevail. The children of Israel blessed Pharaoh and his magician before going out of Egypt. You know what happened there? They, they contested the power of God. Whatever Moses and Aaron did, Pharaoh and his magicians will counter it. And that's why there was 10 plague in Egypt. And among those things, you find that the Pharaoh and magician was countering everything. One of the things that took place, let me just mention that one. One of the first signs, Moses threw down a rod by the instruction of God Almighty, and he became a serpent. And the Pharaoh's servant threw down their rod, there are so many, and serpent feet everywhere. And People must have been clapping for who? Pharaoh, like he has power to deal with God. People must be jumping and saying, look, Pharaoh, live forever. You know, some people can mention, call his name, give him more than 10 names at a time. But I have seen something like that. I went somewhere to see somebody. As I was waiting to see that person, the person that uh, was there, when the person came out, Somebody gave me a lot of name. I, I was I was watching. They call him this. You are the do of this. You are the do of this. You are the do of this. You are the do. I was watching. That is name of me. Did not call the person. I said, "What is all this?" It was calling him at a point in time. I begin to wonder: Is it this person not a human being again? I don't know the names. They call Pharaoh when that incident took place. But then the serpent of Moses open mouth. Waiting for all the magical serpents. And they started entering into the mouth one by one, one by one, until the last one entered. And God said, Pick your rod by the tail of that serpent. And as he picked the tail of that serpent, he became a rod again. And all the magical serpent disappeared. He showed him a sign that he is God. That has a superior power. Listen to me. I don't know who is after you. I don't know who is displaying power. I don't know who is saying, I'm going to show you. My friends, I don't know who is saying, I'm going to deal with you. He's wasting time, you Do know? you hear me? If he tries it, that Pharaoh must die. <laughs> Except he gives you a chance. So that was how Pharaoh countered the power of God for many, for a long time. 
and then God decided to give me a small mathematics. You know what God did? When he told Moses, don't come and see my face anymore. Any day you are going to see my face, you will die. Moses said, you have said it all. I will not see your face again. I will go and sleep now. And he went to sleep. And his servants and his people. And God had already told him, if Israel is my firstborn, if you are refuse to allow them to go, I will kill your firstborn. I will kill every firstborn in the land of Egypt. Now, look at what happened in Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. Exodus chapter 12, look at verse 29. Verse 29. And it came to pass that in the midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat, sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captives that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of cattle. The Lord killed all the firstborn, including Pharaoh's firstborn and all the firstborn of cattle. God killed all of them in one night. And Pharaoh rose up in the night he couldn't sleep again. Shabir want to rest. He don't want to see Moses again. He and all his servants and all the Egyptians and there was a great cry in Egypt for there was not a house where there was not one dead. God killed them that every house was crying of their firstborn. And they couldn't sleep. Pharaoh could not sleep. Every spirit that is troubling Nigeria, troubling Africa, Europe, or Middle East, and I have made people sleepless, I have wasted the life that shall be key. <laughs> Don't tell me that spirit will not die. Spirit dies. When God, the God that created spirit, when he decides on them, he will silence them forever. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Now, look at verse 31. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night. Shabi said he doesn't want to see them again. Now, that night was a night of trouble. He was looking for who? Moses and Aaron. And said unto, and said, Rise up and get you forth from among my people. Go away from my people. But ye and the children of Israel. And go, serve the Lord as you have said. And also take your flaws and your hearts as you have said. And be gone and bless me also. All that Pharaoh was arguing. And you can go only you and all the old people. Leave your children, leave your wife. And then as Moses was going, he said, okay, you can go with your wife. And we'll go with your children. As Moses was going, he said, okay. No, you, 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 you will not see my face. You must leave all your riches or your, all your cattle. But when this thing happened, he couldn't withhold anything again. He said, Take all you have and do what? Go. Not only go in, bless me. You know, that man was wise. Even though he has all the power, he was a, you know, he has all the whatever. And he could be able to challenge God. He knew that this man, that it is called Moses and Aaron. This man that they have a superior God. And he said, Bless me also. As we are going, take everything and do what? Go. You know, sometimes when somebody is born again, the devil and their demon will make sure that the wife or the husband or the children or the person will be poor. The other parents will not be born again. And only the person. And the devil mocking the person knows that he will not go very far. That was the pro what the devil did. But Moses stood his ground until everything was released. And he went out of Egypt. And Pharaoh was what? Blessed. Pharaoh, Moses did what? Please look at that place very well. Because as I'm going on in this message, and I'm going to round up very shortly, you need to follow me. In chapter 12, and verse chapter Exodus. Please look at that place for reading. 
chapter 12 verse 33 and it reads verse 33 and the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land or I mean in a haste for they say we be all dead men praise the Lord now look at verse 32 and also take your flocks and your hearts as you have said and be gone and do what bless me also and indeed Moses blessed him and they went out of Egypt in fact at this point in time people be going to Pharaoh's house and say but you try though so you're able to challenge God and even you are God blessing after the challenge people may be saying that in fact we don't know that you you have too much power this God of uh, the Hebrew that has power and they say created heaven and so you're able to challenge him only to get blessing at the end now that fellow must die praise the Lord getting blessing that is the plan of human being and that's what Moses can do as a human being but God will do his own work praise the Lord so when the Israelites left Egypt God decided to kill the Egyptians and Pharaoh for fighting him he made them to come to their senses and they thought they have made what a mistake for allowing Israelite to go God was the one that did it he made them to think that they have done what for us to allow Israel to go we have made a mistake we must go and bring them back and that was the plan of God that that Pharaoh must die. If you look at chapter 14, chapter 14, verse 4, Exodus 14, verse 4, you see that Pharaoh, after allowing the children of Israel to go, he still thinks he has made a mistake. Verse 4. And I read Exodus chapter 14 from verse 4. And now we had him, who is talking now? And I will have in Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them, and I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. And it was to the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servant was turned against the people and they said why have we done this that we have let Israel go from serving us they regretting but have allowed them to go why do we do this now look at verse 6 and he made ready his chariot and took his people with him and he took 600 chosen chariots and all the chariots of Egypt and captains over every one of them. And the Lord had in the heart of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with an high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them. And all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army. And overtook them a camping by the sea beside Pharaoh before Bezephon. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. It was a surprise that Pharaoh has followed after them in the wilderness, whom they blessed, whom Moses blessed, and Moses has. You know, they have left Egypt and going to the promised land. And they saw the Egyptians coming marching with the armies, with a chariot, and running after them. And when they saw it, they cried. They were thinking that their matter has finished. That they can't survive this war, even in the wilderness. Children and old men, and weak and young, all of them were in the wilderness. And Pharaoh's army were marching after them. But they do not know this is the election, the plan of God. 
For the ways of God are not the ways of man. That Pharaoh must die. That is why God makes it to think that you have made a mistake. Is to teach him what? Unforgettable lesson. When Pharaoh and his army pursued the Israelite close to the Red Sea, not knowing the plan of God, the Israelite became, became afraid and started crying, as we have seen in chapter 14, verse 10 to 12. But that was the day that God planned to kill who? Pharaoh and his armies. Praise the Lord. In fact, if you look at that chapter 14, chapter 14, I read from verse 13, chapter 14 of Exodus, from verse 13, and it says, and I read from verse 13, and the Moses said unto the people, fear ye not, because they were crying and weeping, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which we show to you today, for the Egyptians which you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The servant of God, the man of God, Moses spoke as a prophet. He told them what is going to happen now. This Egyptian you see today, you will see them again no more. For, there's no point of weeping and crying. You will see them no more again forever. God shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And you know, so then we say, let us see now how this one can happen deception some will say deception continues but listening to you God is not a man unto him every knee shall bow he see you are fair it must bow to them people of God are you weeping because of condition and trouble in the nature in the whole world don't weep again that condition must bow. I am not preaching to you alone. I am preaching to the whole world as I'm standing here. And I'm telling you, my statement is not to you alone. What I'm saying to you is a decree. That Pharaoh must die. I don't know that who is challenging you over the years. And make him mockery of you. Hey, the time has come. If you look at verse 15, where we are reading, and the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. God said to Moses, God, Moses after talking as a man, he fell down and began to pray and cry. God said, Why well, cry? Get up. Tell the children of Israel to do what? Go forward. Even though let's see behind you, go forward. Let's see before you and the Egyptian behind you. Let's see before you, Egyptian behind you. He said, Do what? There's no point of going back to the back. First, the let's see. Praise the Lord. That is the grave. Grave for, for Pharaoh and his servant. Now, look at verse 16. And he said, And but lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on on dry ground in the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the heart of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me war, honor upon Pharaoh. And upon all his hosts, upon his channels, and upon his horsemen. They don't hear it. God said, You use your rod, strike it on the sea, and when you strike it, and the sea will divide. And then you will cross over. Pharaoh will be hiding to follow you to also enter the sea. He said, Yeah, I will have honor. I will take honor. But yeah, I will bury Pharaoh. Praise the Lord. Now, do you know what, brethren? Some white men visited me here some years ago. They said that some of the people that went to the sea, deep down in the sea, they still saw the chariots of the 
of the armies of Pharaoh and Pharaoh that the chariot is still there today. One of them is about four or, four or three years ago. They said they we visited that sea and still saw the chariot. Praise the Lord. So before you know it, mostly did what God said and the cross. And when they were crossing over, God removed the pillar of cloud that was being a wall. The angel moved out and they entered the sea to pursue after the Israelites. Let's see what happened to them from verse 23. Verse 23, chapter 14, and verse 23. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses and his chariot and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked up to the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. And took off their chariots, wheels, and they drove them, drove them heavily. So the Egyptians said, "Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians." It was too late. You know what happened to them? As they entered the sea, and God saw they have already entered all of them, and God took away the chariot wheels, took away the wheels. The, the wheels of the chariot, and so the wheel, the, the chariot cannot move again. And then those chariots were pulling, those horses were pulling those things, and they couldn't move again. That is what they have done to themselves. And God told the Moses, "Use that rod in your hand, or yeah, strike it again." And he struck it to the sea, and the sea came together and buried them forever till it today. So that nobody will worship Pharaoh. Nobody will praise Pharaoh. Any man who has risen to challenge you, challenge this ministry, my friend, nobody will worship that person. Nobody, that person, whether he's hiding, I'm sure, whether he's open, God whom I serve will deal with that power. Well, believe it or don't believe that's your business. For me, it has already happened. Do you hear me? Now, if you look at verse 20, 26, and the Lord said unto Moses, let's look at it. The Lord said unto Moses, stretch forth thy hands over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians and upon their chariots and upon their horsemen and Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled against it and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after then, they are remained not so much as one of them. How many of them perished? All of them. You know, let me tell you the mystery of this church. Praise the Lord. In some places, the Bible is like a story. But here, every word here is a reality. Anything we said here will happen. Oh my God. Some places they read it, they read the Bible, they preach the Bible, but they don't see the reality. So if you are talking, you are saying, What are you talking? But here, you can ask anybody, not me. The word of God is real. As we are reading and applying, so shall it be. Can I hear you say, Amen? You see, yo, all that are after you and your family. After you have progressed and after you are going to heaven, my friend, if they refuse to repent, they will pay the price. Yeah. What did you do to them? Because you are you have a you know a bright future. 
and you are doing well and your family is shining that's the problem because you are doing well in your career that's the evil you did to them so they want you to be to hide in the hole they want you to go back to the village he see you you will succeed young man even though you don't when you are coming here you are not coming for the thing but God has changed your mission God will bless you in this program say amen to that it's God that allow it because his ways are not the ways of man you are coming for a negative thing but now God has changed a situation to bless you and your family can somebody say amen I will hear your testimony. You see here, today is a special day. I don't know whether I'll be talking small, small. Praise the Lord. You see you. God that brought you here today have decided on you that Pharaoh must die. I don't know who is against you, against your career, against your family. So we are looking at point number two. Why they must die and the examples. As Egyptians and Pharaoh challenged God and they got death sentence in the same way. Anything that has resisted the power of God in your life all these years must die. Anything that has challenged the power of God in your life, your family, your business, your employment, your career, anything that has challenged the calling of God in your life, that they must die. Anything that is challenging the power of God and calling of God in this ministry must die. Today is the end of that devil. And all his evil, evil spirits challenging this ministry, they must die. Don't forget all the herald and all the people, his servants, that stood against Jesus' ministry. What happened there to them? News came to Joseph and said, They are what? Who killed them now? Now, do you know what happened to Herod that stood against Peter? I made the oration. What happened to him? Worm ate him alive and he died. Because if people were clapping when he made the oration that says he, he, he you know he, he you know he did it like God. And worm ate him, he died instantly before the eyes of everybody. Is see here today? Anything that is glory in over your over your progress and doesn't want you to to make progress in life and glory over and say come and make progress let me see come and make it in life let me see come and you know come and uh, and succeed let me see that herald that pharaoh that witches and wizard that agent of the devil enough is enough that pharaoh must die do you hear me? I don't know who and who that stood as a pharaoh in your life. Who and who the devil has raised up to stop you, to stop you in life, to make you to remain, you know, to remain poor, to remain sickly, to go from one problem to the other. Somebody survived Chibok, and after Chibok, and he's having, a, you know. Uh, cancer, you know that is the, is it not the devil? He was looking after her to you know hunting her, pursuing her to do what? And Sammy, but did they succeed? The arrow has gone back to the sender. I don't know what is after this problem. Another one after this problem. They are just sending this problem and that problem so that you will not be anything. He see you. That Pharaoh must die. Did you hear me? All the enemy that ganging up against you 
against your family, against your career, against your childbearing, against your marriage, against your business, and they say you will not stop, against your promotion, that if you refuse to give you chance to death, that Pharaoh must die. Any power, any spirit, any kingdom, I don't know their name. I don't know the activities in your life, but as long as this declaration is made here, it's standing for the whole world. Can I hear you say amen? amen. So maybe they have re revived again to fight you and have refused to let you serve God directly or indirectly. Fighting going on, fighting against you. And said, Come and move forward, let me see. That Pharaoh must give you a chance. <laughs> that problem, sickness, poverty, opposition, unemployment, rising and falling, following you after this all these years. That Pharaoh must die. That barrenness, miscarriages, evil spirit following your family, and nobody's making progress. That Pharaoh must die. Maybe they have started working against you all over again against this ministry. That Pharaoh must die. Do not be afraid. They must die for challenging God. Remember, Bas prophet died when they all conspired and fought against Elijah, the man of God in the land of Israel. About 450 of Bas prophets when Elijah manifested and demonstrated the power of God by calling God the answer by fire let him be God and fire came down and he said all these prophets do what? key them did they key them? they key them so that the ministry of Elijah must do what? continue he see you today every power challenging you saying you will not make progress Walking against God's will, that Pharaoh must die. Did you hear me? You must marry. You must make progress in life. You must have children. I say you must finish your academics. You must in all your degree to PhD level, whatsoever you want to attend to, the Lord will bring you to that. He see you miracle employment, whether employment are in Nigeria or not, God will create employment for you. He see you. Husband is waiting for you. Wife is waiting for you. Blessings that make it rich and added no sorrow to it. He is following you home today. If you believe it, say amen. Herod died. And all his servants. All the Herod and Pharaoh. All the Haman. All those enemies. Are against your family. Against your career. That Pharaoh must die. That problem must die. I say that problem must die. Are you waiting for your miracle now? Are you ready for it? I said, as the Pharaoh of old died, our own Pharaoh must do all that. As you report them to the Lord in prayer today, you will go home with miracle. Do you believe it? You know what happened to Dethan, Abihu, Alibiran, and 250 elders of Israel who were torn in the flesh against Moses and Aaron and against their wilderness journey, frustration, attack, until Moses said something. Look at Numbers chapter 16. Let's see something there. Numbers chapter 16. I don't know who is making this journey unbearable and uncomfortable and have become a thorn in the flesh. It doesn't want you to succeed. It doesn't want good things to come your way. It just wants to frustrate you. Ah, they shall not succeed you. Are you hearing me? I said they shall not. You see that problem you brought here? 
that have wrestled with you for years, whether spiritually or physically or materially or financially, academically, that Pharaoh must die. Chapter 16, verse 29. And I read number 16. And verse 29. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord, and it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking of these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that are pertaining unto Korah, and all their goods, they and all that are pertaining to them went down alive into the pit. And the earth closed up upon them. Closed upon them. And they perished from among the congregation. And all these red that were round about them fled, fled at the cry of them. For they said, Least the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord. And consume the 250 men that offered incense. The point is, all of them were buried alive for challenging and hindering the progress of the work, of the ministry, of the moving forward, of getting to the promised land. And the Lord said, For that reason, at the mouth of his servant, and if they die on common death, you know that God has not called him called the servant Moses. And if God will do a new thing, the ground will open and they'll go to hell alive. And it happened like that. You see here today, what will happen here is say it and have it. Do you hear what I said? Whatever I said here will it come to pass. I don't know what is troubling you. That Pharaoh must die. We cannot have two gods. Are you hearing me? Nobody can assume the office of God and then daring and working against you, against your progress, against your future, and say you cannot make it. You, you know, come and make progress. Let me see. Any man, any spirit in your family, your village, any spirit in your yard, in your marketplace, the office, in the nation, anywhere in Africa, in the world, that Pharaoh must die. He see you. That sickness must be healed. That poverty must be cancelled. God will make a way where there's no way for you. He see you, God Almighty, who started this work in your life, He will finish it. He see you, all the gang up against you in any shrine, any temple, any altar, God will destroy them. You shall never die a day before you are dead. You shall fulfill your years. All the calamity, all the evil going on is not for you. God will protect my people. God will heal my people. God will fight for my people. Whatsoever you expect in looking for, God will give it to you. As long as it is according to the will of God, no power can stop you. No spirit can hinder you. Are you getting ready now? You will make some prayers. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 said, As it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Now, you are going to tell the Lord, the Pharaoh after you. The Pharaoh problem after you. The enemy after you. As you present them today, count it down. Rise up and let us pray.
rise up and let us pray rise up on your feet everybody make your make your points make your requests tell the lord what you want open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray no matter what brought you here today you must thank god for that thing because today god will change your situation Today is today. Favor, victory, victory, victory in every front. Everybody pray. I don't know. Everything troubling you. Fighting against your future, against your progress. Open your mouth and pray. God is here for you. He will defeat your defeat. He will fight that battle. He will give you victory. He will make impossibility to become possible for you. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. God's glory will not share with another. God will defeat your enemies. God will deal with those powers. God will deliver you from death. Everybody pray. Oh Lord God, oh my son, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh God. I pray defeat her defeat. I pray find a battle. I pray make way for the way there's no way. Arise, oh Lord. Ranga Zanda Yamana Kata. Ruvi Karuzen Jenny come pray. Luviana Ruzian Denico Peruski Tena Ranga G. Luviana Ruzian Denico Pray Arise, O Lord. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Take that whatsoever you are going through. God will deal with your enemies. God will defeat them. God will deliver you. God will make a way where there's no way for you. It will give you victory. Victory. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. He answers prayers. He will answer you. He will answer you. He will answer you. He will visit you. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. The hour has come. Your time has come. Your hour has come. Everybody pray. Tell the Lord why you are here. Everybody pray. In Jesus' name, we oh pray. You have prayed so much. All your prayers, every prayer he has made here now, all of them are answered. Do you believe it? Many people know how to pray prayers, but they don't know how to believe God. He see you. I will hear your testimony. A person suffering from diabetes and constant urinating, can you raise your hands up? Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I command that evil to die. I will uprooted your life permanently in Jesus' name. The one that have terrible waist pain, I cancel it. I command to be uprooted, be healed in Jesus' name. 
a person having typhoid fever, malaria, parasite. I cause that evil. I command you to die. Let it be uprooted in Jesus' name. The person that they book for oppression, somebody here they book for oppression. One operation for fibroid, another person for prostate, another person also they book it for hernia. Whatsoever, I cancel that operation. I pray, command I be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for you, you have cancer. When you had the testimony, you have cancer. And that cancer, you are worried. You are thinking, are you going to survive? Can you raise your hand up? I cause the cancer. I command you to die in Jesus' name. The IBP. I cause that evil. I command you to die in Jesus' name. I command the IBP to return to normal. That person for James to live, I cancel that evil. Be healed in Jesus' name. The case of HIV, terrible case of HIV, I cost the HIV. I command you to die, be healed in Jesus' name. And all those people outside the country, anywhere having coronavirus, even you that thinking you have it, just keep your hands off. Father, by authority, I cost the coronavirus. I command you to die and be uprooted all over the world in Jesus' name. And I command that terrible pains, heavy pains in your body be healed. The one in your neck be healed. In your lung be healed. The heart pain be healed. All the heaviness and all the coughing be cancelled, be uprooted in Jesus' name. My daddy, you alone will walk and who shall let it? That person having lots of memory, I cancel it. And I pray for you that doesn't sleep well. This night I command that you sleep like a baby in Jesus' name. All that constant urinating, you will never urinate more than once tonight. Be healed in Jesus' name. And that barrenness for almost 18 years, I break the yoke in your life. I command conception for you this time around in Jesus' name. The spirit troubling that marriage that hindered the conception, I command that spirit to be arrested, be bound, and die in Jesus' name. My daddy, I pray for this ones. Nothing is working. No favor. Nothing is working. Hatred instead of favor. I cancel that evil. Somebody here, you are supposed to be a man helping people, a man that is blessed mightily, instrument of blessing millions of people, thousands of people, but nothing is working for you. It is the work of the enemy. Today, I declare judgment on that enemy. And I decree that that Pharaoh must die. I command from now to 24 hours. If he refuses to give you chance, he will give you chance by force. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. I command your way be open. That breathing problem, difficult in breathing, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for you. Delay in marriage, I pray the yoke. I command your husband to come your way, your wife to come your way, 
Father, bless them. I command that spirit, husband, spirit, wife, die in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Whatever has stood against your family, the enemy, the wicked being, the occult being that have stood against your family, it must give you chance. They must give you chance. And I give them from now to the end of this month. If they refuse to give you chance, the Lord will take them away. That Pharaoh must die in Jesus' name. For listening to me, beginning from today, God Almighty will make war with your enemies. He will make a way where there's no way for you. He will fight for you. He will bring promotion, connection in Jesus' name. That terrible cup waves, wherever it's coming from, I return it back to sender. I command that Pharaoh to die in Jesus' name. That unclean spirit dragging you backward. I command that spirit to be die. I command that from today they will give you a chance to make progress in Jesus' name. My daddy, the yoke of unemployment for years, I pray that yoke. Lord, I pray for miracle employment from now to next week, Wednesday, in Jesus' name. That you are God and not a man. Every pharaohic problem and taking them from places, taking them here and there, pursuing them everywhere they go. Somebody, whenever you get anything good coming, they will fight against it and destroy it. You return back to square one. Today I break the yoke. Oh Lord, give that person victory in Jesus' name. Somebody here, the office where you are working, you supposed to be above there, but somebody has sat upon you going up. That person, if you refuse to give you chance, that person shall be taken away. I decree promotion for you in Jesus' name. Oh Lord. All these ones that have been wrestling and struggling in their life. And I have wicked Pharaoh and Pharaoh problem after them. Spiritually or otherwise. Father, I command those Pharaoh to die in Jesus' name. Spiritually hidden. Physically heal them. Materially bless them. Financially bless them. Academically bless them. Whatsoever this enemy has sat upon. Sat upon your property. You cannot say. You cannot do your, your business. cannot work. Every pharaoh sitting upon the money and the goods and business of our brethren. I command that pharaoh to die. Lord, let your people be free and say the goose in Jesus name whatever taking from you I command it to be restored restore let your head restore let your money be restored let your finance be restored your business be restored father bless them in Jesus name from this day Every one of you all over the world. That Pharaoh trouble you making you afraid. There is nothing to fear anymore. God must take the glory. That Pharaoh must. Coronavirus must die. Cancer must die. Diabetes must die. High BP must die. Kidney problem must die. Heart problem must die. All those affliction 
that brought in your life to kill you i kill those afflictions in jesus name my daddy cancer must die that bleeding must cease miscarriages must cease father fight for them in jesus name my daddy make a way where there's no way for my people from this day as the children of israel left egypt and crossed over the red sea oh lord god that i serve by your authority i declare freedom for them by your authority i cross them over by your authority i command all the pharaohs in their life to die in the red sea in jesus name say amen to that prayer all that pain and scratches and pain you are born i command it to vanish away that terrible cough i cause it let it be healed in jesus name that person sitting on your money i command that money to be paid in jesus name let that your goose be released wherever is hold in jesus name all those people missing i command them to return back home father intervene in jesus name everything you have been wrestling and battling with today i command that fellow to die say amen to that prayer say amen again if you brought any person who cannot walk any person that have stroke any person that have spinal cord problem broken bone you brought any person as a cripple sit on the wheelchair with crutches I want to go near that person I want to pray so that that person can ask where that pharaoh or pharaohic problem of paralysis or stroke be removed if you came in with crutches right now get ready to use your body to walk if you came in with crutches or maybe you don't walk please if you are sitting down rise up quickly so that we can discern who is walking and who is not walking rise up on your feet all those who cannot walk rise up and walk in jesus name rise up now use your body to walk broken bone i command you join together stroke i can sue you all the paralysis i can sue you if you are not walking maybe because of lead poison i cancel it or because of a, a problem or kidney i cancel it rise up and walk in jesus name oh yeah come in the front now test your leg you're here yes i can see a woman walking now yes walk in the front here anybody here they're brought here and you are not walking maybe you're carrying crutches or walking stick where are you drop it and walk you're here or just look around i can see another person walking there and a woman leaping and walking there come in the front and walk anywhere you are you can see other people walking rise up and use your body you're here you're here you're here rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up i can see someone with crutches there walking now i say rise up and walk quickly keep on walking keep on walking wherever you are whether you have paralysis or stroke or maybe have a broken bone or spinal cord injury i pray that all your organ damage be replaced in jesus name oh yeah, i can see another person rise up and walk keep on walking keep on walking i can see that there are many keep on walking keep on walking keep on walking you sitting on the wish here rise up and walk in jesus name yes i can see a woman now and the leg are joined together walking now and all the paralysis that child that cannot walk now drop that child walk right now in jesus name keep on walking keep on coming out all the paral all the paralysis is healed stroke is gone broken bone is gone 
damage organ receive brand new one in jesus name keep on walking i command the pharaohic problem of paralysis of stroke to die permanently in jesus name keep on walking keep i can see so many people all the people that cannot walk for sins even those cannot walk since you are born i cancel that paralysis rise up and walk in jesus name yes i can see somebody they are walking also and i see many people coming from this side everywhere you are you are not walking i set you free in jesus name keep on walking keep on walking you have to carry all that have been carrying you to walk before carry them up yes i can see that person down there walking now all the people that are deaf and dumb i cancel deaf and dumb i command to begin to hear and speak in jesus name i command your tongue be loose your mind be loose begin to hear begin to speak can you say any deaf and dumb person say one two papa mama if you brought any person deaf and dumb i cancel deaf and dumb i cancel deaf and dumb i cancel deaf and dumb be healed in jesus name any person like that say one say two say papa mama jesus all the people with deaf and dumb i declare healing for you i command that pharaoh deaf and dumb die and come out in jesus name now check that person you brought here with deaf and dumb that person is healed that person is healed test that person call the name say one two three all the people have cataract glaucoma blindness i cancel glaucoma i cancel blindness i cancel cataract be healed in jesus name i command blind eyes be open receive your sight in jesus name begin to come out begin to come out deaf and dumb your head blind eyes your head all the people that have insanity madness total madness or oh, loss of memory i cancel madness i cancel loss of memory be healed in jesus name i command spirit of insanity die i command them be free in jesus name begin to come out your head let your senses come back your brain come back receive soundness in jesus name every hunchback be healed kidney paleo receive brand new kidney brand new liver brand new heart be given to you in jesus name every damaged organ receive brand new one damaged brain receive brand new one every damaged arthritis brand new, receive brand new one receive freedom in jesus name if where whoever you brought here whatever projected in their body to kill them i kill that disease a key that affliction i return it back to send that in jesus name receive freedom receive healing receive deliverance receive freedom wherever you are receive your miracle now in jesus name bring them out bring them out today is the day of victory over pharaoh over pharaohic problem over death and dumb and blindness and paralysis over insanity over barrenness and miscarriages over delay in marriage i set you free in jesus name child big amen to that prayer hunchback abnormal growth elephantiasis i cost them now i commanded to vanish away in jesus name swelling stomach swelling body i cancel them in jesus name shall be amen we have god gained victory you and your family victory over all the pharaoh problem in jesus name now mention three definite need i want god to be glorified you want a remarkable something to show that your pharaoh is dead mention three definite needs three definite needs oh lord remember my people glorify your name this is that great day that the whole world I've been waiting for. 
to hear a voice I will counter the work and the activities of the enemy that what have been issued already and the enemies are dead enemies of choosing are dead enemies of believers are dead enemies of all the people are dead oh lord we celebrate victory 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 in jesus name we pray let's keep your two hands up if you have any prayer request lift it up if you have mentioned any enemy any problem just keep your hands up all of you they gave quick notice i cancel the quick notice and i pray also for you having financial needs i pray and decree from now to tomorrow financial miracle alert and i pray for somebody a big connection but remember that when god has blessed you you remember church because the kind of blessing you are entering now can make somebody to forget uh, the source if the person is not careful well your man will you still come back to give us testimony and continue because you will soon be asking so i am the one like this because your pharaoh have been taken care of oh lord i pray from now till the end of next week let this person i'm talking about be raised above the equals financially you will be a blessing you will be a pillar you will be instrument to help others this is the second time i'm mentioning your case today in this program i launch you into deep will you remember us well i pray that god will make you to remember the source precious daddy all these evil women against just one woman judge those women let them repent gave them salvation and i pray oh lord in any way that blocking this person suck all of them say amen to that i pray for you that troubling pharaoh that is like a wife don't make don't make any problem with her god has taken care of that matter let that pharaoh in her life be destroyed in jesus name father bless that family with the blessing silence that pharaoh say amen to that prayer my daddy all oh, they have lifted all that person said is this man you are the pharaoh mention about a particular man god are giving you victory for intervening in jesus name bless everyone visit everyone all they have mentioned from a to z i declare it done and from this day the enemy that is rising lord i uproot all of them from foundation 
and I decree that the noise will cease. All the insecurity, all the crisis, all the evil, I command them to cease. And coronavirus, you have no right over the people of God. I take authority, I command you to die. And you shall not resuscitate again because affliction shall not rise the second time. I command to be silenced forever for challenging God in Jesus' name. I paralyze all your problem. Whatever they have pushed in the air to trouble you, I command them to die. Let the air be subject to you. Let every system be subject to you. Every power be subject to you. Father, bless my people in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. All those pictures, Father, touch those people. The hanky, the apron. I pray for anointing that break on the yoke. Anointing for favor, for protection, for healing, for signs and wonders and miracles in Jesus' name. Say amen seven times. Amen. 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 You are covered with the blood of Jesus. It is done.